when I um, talk about God, I don't talk about God in the religious sense. I talk about him more of in the faith sense. Um, let me explain my reasoning. Because I went to church, back to church for a little while, and it felt good, but then I realized while I was going that I was being told to believe this and this and that and do this and that and now listen to this person or that person and um, I, I stopped going and I think I'm not going to go to church again in a long time not because I don't believe in God but for the fact that I don't like organized religion I like having my faith I like believing in God I like believing that there is a heaven but I like the fact that I just have my faith to rely on. I don't need an organized church. That being said, I got this holy Bible yesterday, which is, which is pretty nice. It's a, uh, it's the American, Young Americans Bible. This is pretty much for a military member. They could bring this into combat with them. Uh, has the Gettysburg Address in it. This is a great Bible family bible really for if you have like little kids or something and you want to teach them to have faith but also instead of waiting for them to get to school you could teach them that there's a Gettysburg address in there there's a declaration of independence and all that and this is a real convenient bible for the military member or supporters of whoever has someone in the military but I really want to talk about because it says it has a calendar throughout the for the year or years because Bibles never really go out of date. Well, that's a bit of an incognito because sometimes they do. Um, but anyway, it says in the Bible. From a religious standpoint, this is pretty much when Jesus is being presented to the Jews with the crown of thorns and the purple robe, which there's so many different versions of the Bible. We don't know which one is the exact description. But um, this is when Pontius Pilate pretty much said and pretty much showed the Jews their Jesus with like a bleeding head and all that. And um, he said, what do you want me to do with him? Because I have no, I see no fault in him. Now, with, in that, Pon Pontius Pilate was always on the assumption that Jesus was a dangerous man because he declared himself the son of God. But, He sees no fault in Jesus. He sees no reason why Peter betrayed him. He sees no reason why he needs to be crucified. He sees no reason for it. He doesn't even see a reason why he was arrested. And, um... Is he doing that because he believes in God? No. Back then, there were Romans who followed Caesar. And this is a fact. Caesar, who was legitly the ruler of Egypt or the war leader of Egypt, historically speaking, he's like the only figure in the New Testament which is who was actually real. Um, so anyway, Romans followed him. They listened to every word he said. Um, pretty much they were his slaves, and whatever he said, they did. But so anyway, Caesar was a man of religion, not faith. So he would have, like, a Jewish, uh, not rabbi, but more of a Jewish sermon or someone 
of the Jewish faith of the time who was like a prophet and he and they would pretty much give Caesar comfort in the religious version of um, the scripture or man-made scriptures. So, but the, the whole morning reading from the Bible, I look at it as more of a reality level of today's standards. Have you ever felt like Jesus? You don't even have to believe in God to answer this question. Have you ever felt like Jesus being betrayed by somebody? Have you ever felt you were put on trial? Trial? Falsely? Have you ever felt you were accused of being someone you're not? That's pretty much what that the, those verses in the Bible that I read this morning are. You don't even have to be a believer of faith. But consider it. Just consider the fact that. Don't look at it as a religious standpoint. Or a faith standpoint. But look at it as a reality check. Have you ever felt like that? Or do you ever make someone else feel like that? Because really, to change the world, I think we need to look at ourselves. And I think if we take the Bible, and not use it as a religious standpoint, but use it as a reality check, I think we could definitely change the world that way.